There are so many species of animals on the planet that it's hard to keep up with all of them, and new species of animals are being discovered every day. Some of these creatures are so rare that none of them have ever been seen before. As our world gets smaller with better technology, more strange and unusual creatures are found. With this in mind, we went out and put together a list of unreal creatures, so sit back and relax as we take a look at 10 animals you didn't know existed. I I. This strange-looking creature lives in the forests of Madagascar. At first glance, many people wouldn't be able to tell what family this animal belongs to. It definitely has the characteristics of a rodent with its two large front teeth and big round sensitive ears, and some think it looks like some sort of gremlin. But the eye eye is actually a lemur, which is a primate related to chimpanzees, apes, and humans. Dark brown or black in color, they have a bushy tail larger than its entire body. It has a long slender finger with a claw on the end that it uses to tap on trees, listening for hollow spots from wood-boring larvae. When it finds them, it uses its two large front teeth to chew a hole in the wood and then fishes them out with its clawed middle finger. It also uses this middle finger to eat the flesh from inside of coconuts and other fruits. Many people native to Madagascar consider the eye eye an omen of bad luck, and for this reason, they have often been killed on sight. The Lamprey Ancient and ugly, the lamprey is considered to be a living fossil because they have been around long before the dinosaurs. And with 360 million year old fossils looking remarkably like modern lampreys, they are said to be the oldest vertebrates alive in the world. This bizarre looking fish doesn't have a jaw and as an adult has a permanently open mouth with rows of teeth and even teeth on the end of its tongue. They look frightening and for good reason. The lamprey is a parasite that will attach itself onto the side of fish, eating and sucking their blood, often killing their hosts in the process. It's interesting to note that this fish used to be eaten as a royal delicacy and was shown being eaten in an episode of Game of Thrones. We sure hope they are tastier than they look. The Maned Wolf one look at this creature will have you trying to decide if it's a wolf or a fox. The surprising thing is that it is neither. So what is it? Genetic studies show that it is neither fox nor true wolf, but a distinct species. It is the only member of its genus Chrysocyon. The maned wolf derives its name from the characteristic mane on its neck, which stands erect when it senses danger. Having evolved to live in high grass savannas, maned wolves have a thick red coat long black legs and tall erect ears. They stand about three feet tall when fully grown. Their eating habits are a lot different than a normal canine. Maned wolves are omnivorous eaters and primarily solitary hunters. They eat seasonally abundant fruits and vegetables and are particularly interested in lobera, a small tomato-like berry whose name means fruit of the wolf. But they also eat small mammals such as rodents, rabbits, and insects. Giant Girdled Lizards Named after its relative size in the group of girdled lizards, it is the biggest species in the group. The genus Smog is named after the legendary dragon of the same name in the novel The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. These lizards are also called sun gazers because they have the habit of looking up towards the sun while sunbathing. Their bodies are almost completely covered in spiny scales. They have four large spiny scales at the back of the head, and about four or five scales protruding on the side, and their tails are covered by thick, large, spiny scales, decreasing in size from the base to the tip. They look incredibly like the cross between a dragon and some dinosaur species. They are ambush hunters much like one of their reptilian cousins, the crocodile, and wait till their prey comes along before ambushing it. The Dugong also called sea cows, the dugong is a large mammal that lives its entire life in the sea. The reason they are called sea cows is because of the large amounts of sea grass they eat. And if you're trying to figure out what this creature is related to, you might be surprised to know that it's more closely related to an elephant than to other sea creatures. Although their closest aquatic relative is the manatee. 
The dugong can grow up to 10 feet long and can weigh up to 1,000 pounds. They do come up to the surface to breathe, but never go on land like seals. They can live for 70 years. They have very few predators due to their size, and the only other species to attack dugongs are sharks, the saltwater crocodile, and killer whales. The lamprey, which we mentioned earlier, also likes to attach itself to the dugong, and sometimes kills the dugong when there are three or four of these parasites attached. Yeti Crab This crab was only recently discovered in 2005 living in the icy cold waters of the Pacific Ocean near hydrothermal vents near Easter Island. The Yeti crab is a distant relative to the hermit crabs commonly seen lurking in tide pools. It gets its name from the feathery hairs or setae that cover its arms. These hairs collect bacteria which the crab might cultivate and eat. It is also believed that the hair on its claws contain filamentous bacteria which may be used to detoxify the water coming from the thermal vents where it lives. The crab has no pigmentation in its eyes, which would make it blind. Living near hydrothermal vents, these crabs fight to be in Goldilocks types of zones. If it is too hot, the crabs will fry, and they will freeze if it's too cold. So they fight each other for places in this perfect zone and can be seen huddling by the hundreds. Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle This turtle is the only species that has such a flat appearance. Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle has a broad head and small eyes close to the tip of its snout, with their carapace being smooth and olive-colored. At first, it might look like a harmless species, but this turtle is an ambush predator and primarily carnivorous, feeding on crustaceans such as crabs, lobsters, mollusks, and fish. The turtle spends 95% of its life buried and motionless, with only its eyes and mouth protruding from the sand. It surfaces only twice a day to take a breath. They can grow up to 3.5 feet long and weigh as much as 220 pounds. The species is primarily found inland in slow-moving freshwater rivers and streams. It is classified as an endangered species and may soon disappear altogether. Garanuk. The Garanuk looks somewhat like a cross between a giraffe and a gazelle. It is characterized by its long slender neck and limbs, the flat wedge-like head, and the large round eyes. Their coat is of a short, fine, and glossy hair. They grow to be about 41 inches tall and can weigh between 60 and 100 pounds. Quite small for this type of antelope. The Garanuk inhabits the dry, brushy region of East Africa from the Serengeti plain of Tanzania north along the coast through Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, and into southern Somalia. The species was once found in eastern Egypt and northeastern Sudan. Primarily a browser, the Garanuk feed on foliage of bushes as well as trees, shoots, herbs, flowers, and fruits. It can reach higher branches and twigs better than other gazelles and antelopes by standing erect on its hind legs and elongating its neck. This helps it reach nearly six and a half feet off the ground. This species is also endangered, being nearly hunted out of existence, and only make up 0.5% of hoofed animals in their regions. Amazon River Dolphin These dolphins are the largest river dolphin with adult males reaching lengths of up to 8.5 feet long and sometimes weighing 350 to 400 pounds. Females are only slightly smaller than the males. Adults acquire a pink color to their skin and is more prominent in males, giving it its nickname, Pink River Dolphin. Dolphins are also called toothed whales. And like other toothed whales, they have a melon, an organ that is used for biosonar. They are predatory hunters which feed on up to 53 different species of fish, such as croakers, catfish, tetras, and piranhas. They also consume other animals such as river turtles and freshwater crabs. The texture of the body is robust and strong but flexible. Unlike oceanic dolphins, the cervical vertebrae are not fused, allowing their head to turn 90 degrees. In the areas where they live, local tales relate that it is bad luck to kill a dolphin. Legend also states that if a person makes eye contact with an Amazon River dolphin, he or she will have lifelong nightmares.
Sunda Kalugo. The Sunda flying lemur is found throughout Southeast Asia in Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, and Singapore. Kalugos are tree-dwelling animals that can grow 14 to 16 inches in length and weigh from 2 to 4 pounds. The Sundu Kalugo is also called the flying lemur, but it is not a lemur and it does not fly. Instead, it glides as it leaps among trees, somewhat like a flying squirrel. It is strictly arboreal, is active at night, and feeds on soft plant parts such as young leaves, shoots, flowers, and fruits. The Sunda Kalugo flying lemur is a skillful climber, but is helpless when on the ground. Its gliding membrane connects from the neck extending along the limbs to the tips of the fingers, toes, and nails. This kite-shaped skin is known as a patagium, which is expanded for gliding. It can glide over a distance of 330 feet with a loss of less than 35 feet in elevation. The spaces between the Kalugo's fingers and toes are webbed. As a result, Kalugos were once considered to be close relatives of bats. Today, they are now considered to be the closest living relatives of primates.